Hi, my name is Mrs. Janice Galachi, and I am your child's high school life skills teacher here at Cocalico. The focus of my classroom is on those functional daily living skills, and the purpose of it is to help your child develop skills that will help them be as independent and able to experience, experience success in their everyday life, you know, during their high school time, but also life beyond high school, so as they graduate. Also, the goal of the classroom environment in my room is to prepare your child for our skills program that they will move into you know as they are approaching the end of their high school career and are more occupational based so while in my room some of the things that we focus on are really just anything you would do in your everyday life but to give you a list and i'm sure i will miss some but um, they would be cooking cleaning doing laundry, taking care of personal hygiene, banking, knowing personal safety and personal information, knowing you know, how to make a grocery list, go shopping, pay for a bill, where food would go, uh, maintenance of eye contact. We do social skills and we often have Mrs. Fleming, our school social worker, come into the classroom to hold those lessons. Another big component of my classroom is job training where we do meet with Mrs. Holberter once a week and she focuses on the beginning aspects of getting a job and right now we are working on filling out a resume and even a job application in the right way so that in the future when students do want to uh, obtain a career they will have some background knowledge that they can use when applying for jobs. We typically in my classroom do a lot of really neat and really fun projects However, due to COVID, some things had to be changed quite a bit where we do not currently share materials. There's a lot more computer work um, and hopefully things start to turn around soon so we can incorporate that into the classroom. So at this time within the school year, I know it's still early, we have covered the calendar uh, months of the year and days and we are now getting into money where we are looking at um, coins, dollar amounts, uh, adding up totals of change and also determining how much change we would get back when making a purchase and we are also getting into making a budget and the importance of that so any continued conversation at home regarding those topics would be really beneficial and very helpful um, some things that we're doing in between there are uh, constantly talking about our address the importance of knowing it including the zip code and um, Something that we do do every day in my classroom is use our resources to find answers to questions that we're not sure about or don't know. That's something and that's a skill that we do every day in life, whether it's pulling out our cell phone for the calculator, Googling something on the internet, looking up a location of a store, for example, and using the Maps app to get us there. Those are all skills that I like to focus on and teach in my classroom so that as students become more and more independent, they will know to access those resources on their own instead of just giving up because um, they're not sure of what to do or where to go or how to answer it. And oftentimes when we give an assessment in my class, I'll give it one time without the use of resources. And then that same assessment I'll give again with the use of resources. And it's really neat to see that student scores each, each time they are improved and I think it allows the students to see that when they are able to access a resource that pressure of knowing something is taken away they know where to go they find the answer and they're able to move on so I think that also reduces a lot of anxiety um, even though at this time like I said we're not able, uh, able to do a lot of the fun classroom uh, experiences we had to practice our life skills I uh, I would want to talk about them right now just so you know what we may be getting into should some of these restrictions be lifted. So one of the neatest things in my classroom is a class business we hold that is called the Panini Press and I actually have our, our uh, Panini fast food food truck behind me and what I love about this project is it, it takes a whole bunch of different skills and throws it into one big project. So each week what I do is I pull a student from in the class at random and they are chosen as the chef of the week. That chef then gets to make any type of panini they wish um, and we offer it to the staff for $2.50. And then 
We create bills for the staff. We place the bills in their mailbox or upon delivery, and we give back change depending on how much money was given. So that that takes in, uh, into account social skills, money skills, writing out bills with addresses, making sure they're getting to the right place. Then we make a grocery list where we determine how much quantity we need to buy of each item in order to make the sandwich. And we will go to the grocery store and we make that purchase. So that's your grocery list, grocery shopping, making a monetary purchase, using social skills again in the community with people that we are uncomfortable with and may not know very well. And then we will put the groceries away and on the day we cook we prepare the paninis from scratch and it's really neat it's like an assembly line each student has a job and they really take pride in this work um, we deliver the sandwich teachers love it there's a lot of great feedback and i would say the worst part about the job is the cleanup students don't generally enjoy that but it's also a good skill because um, it's that hygiene taking care of dirty dishes we talk about you know why you would clean up versus not cleaning up and and uh, the consequences of not cleaning up and I think that helps put it into perspective for the students and following all of this the class does make a good amount of money and we were able to use that to then do community events and you know typically at this time of year we would have been going to the Denver Fair or Effort Affair or we would go out to eat to a restaurant and um, it was, it was a really great experience for the kids and it was totally funded through the Panini Press. So hopefully that is something that we get to start up soon, but if not, that is fine. Um, we will figure out a new exciting class business that we can take on until the COVID restrictions are over. Another really neat project that we had in our class was the World Express Cafe. And we started that last year. We worked with our job trainer, Mrs. Holbreder, uh, Dr. Zara and myself, we had our students um, take on the role that they had to apply for within our restaurant. We made a cuisine of the month and it was all based out of a different country. Teachers came to the restaurant on their lunch break and we took their orders and served them. Again, it was a really neat, real life experience that the kids absolutely loved. So we are just hoping to get back there very, very quickly. Until then, you know, we are doing the best we can and we're really focusing on those dates, calendar months, our personal information, and uh, getting into money right now. Uh, if you, like I said, could practice any of that at home, or just, you know, if, if you have a certain amount of change in your pocket after your day, give it to your child and ask them to count it out. Just continuously practicing, practicing those skills is going to be so beneficial. So if you have questions after hearing this please reach out to me i'd love to like have a conversation with you at any time whether it's concerns positives about your child anything they're doing so wonderful um i'm pleased with very very pleased with the classes and uh, i think it is going to be a great year despite all of these uh restrictions that we are working under um recently students that have life skills or skills in their IEP have been able to start attending school on Wednesdays as well. That was a really great experience. We had our first Wednesday in school and it was a great time with such a small amount of students here. We were able to cook. Um, we were able to do a lot more social skills instruction and uh, I really enjoyed that. So if that is something you're not currently taking uh, currently doing with your child is having them come to school Wednesday. Um, know that that option is still there and we'd love to have them in school. Otherwise, we will continue the virtual program on those Wednesdays. And I guess for the remainder of this time, I'll give you a quick walk around the classroom and hope that I don't make you too busy. So back in this area of the room was the area we generally would cook in at this time. Most of it is uh, not being used due to COVID, but we do have two microwave refrigerators, a lot of cooking utensils. And in the room as well, I would just have tasks that we would complete. So we just did a task list on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I have a resource of the months of the year with the number of months that corresponds. Uh, so for writing the date, students may use that at any time money we focus a lot on the time whether it's analog or digital clocks and um, a sink for washing hands we do that very regularly on top of just using hand sanitizer and i did do a lot of fine motor skill jobs which you can see 
here for that continuous practice of fine motor skills. However, at this time, due to not sharing materials, that is also on the back burner. So I, uh, again, hope this was very helpful for you to kind of see a bit into the classroom. As the year goes on, we're going to really be starting some fun projects. And like I said, please reach out to me at any time. I'd love to talk with you. And uh, I hope you have a great night. Bye.